guys, what's going on? Welcome to day nine. TMJ in the USA season three. Saturday morning here in Vegas, day two of the Olympia weekend, day two of the Olympia Expo. Just here crushing my morning cardio. You guys know I'm done. 20 minutes, medium intensity, intervals, fasted with Core ABC on deck, of course. Doing the 40 seconds off, 20 seconds on intervals for 20 minutes. So I'm done. I'm gonna step right off right now. Come for a walk with you guys. Make sure I don't trip over my shit. So as usual, you guys guessed it. Knee boss was not awake when I left the uh, when I left the suite. So I'm gonna go back upstairs, get him up, get our shit together, and uh, before we actually leave for the expo. Get out of here. Before we actually leave for the expo, just because you guys asked for it. Oh, we're the wrong way. Uh, we're gonna do a hair tutorial this morning. So I'm gonna show you how I get my, uh, my shit on point every morning. And then we're gonna bounce out to day two of the Olympia Expo. We'll see you guys back in the suite. Big Nevosh. What up? What up? What's going on there, brother? Just getting ready. <laughs> How them, how's that cause ease going for you? It knocks me out, man. Can you at least open your eyes to say hello to the viewers at no. home, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come on, get up. we got to bounce, man. The Olympia Expo is waiting for us. Yeah, buddy. Alright, guys, you asked for it, so here it is. The hair tutorial. So you're going to need a couple of things, first of all. You're going to need clean hair, like this. So you can see that shit is clean. As long as... And it looks horrible before you get started. You're then going to need a comb. The highest quality comb that you can find, which for me is like the uh, 50 cent comb from the convenience store. And you're going to need, of course, Suave Aceto. And when your hair is as long as mine is, and you guys can see how long it is, I don't think that people really appreciate how long that shit is. Look at that shit. It's like a mop head. When your hair gets that long, there's two types of Suave Aceto. There's the, the hard type, and then there's the soft type or the original. So I go the original because the hard type is gonna make my shit like concrete. So you're gonna do this in two steps. The first step is with your clean, dry hair, you're gonna wet it a little bit. Or if you just get out of the shower, it's gonna be wet already. I didn't just get out of the shower, but my shit is clean. So I need to wet it a little bit. Just with your hands like that. It does, you don't want it to be super, super wet because you're actually gonna let it dry I've actually probably wet it a bit too much. There we go. So you want to wet it. And what you want to do, you want to take your comb with, with no uh, product in your hair just yet. And you want to comb that bitch over to the point where you want it, or how you want to style it. So for me, I take it from my left to my right hand side, like that, showing the fade on the left hand side. You guys can see that shit, showing the fade and then just kind of comb it over and comb it backwards as you're going through. Just like that. Now it's not going to sit perfect just yet. What you're doing is you're just combing the hair so you know what it knows what direction you want it to go in. Then you're going to take your first lot of Suave Aceto. You're going to take not that much, just a very small amount. So like a fingertip, right? That's how much Suave Aceto I got up in this bitch. Rub it in your hands like this. And then work that bitch through your hair. Just with your fingers, just with your hands like that. So work it through and just slick all that shit back in the direction. So once again, left to right for me and then kind of backwards as I go through. So you see that, that's where it's at. Now what you wanna do, cause your hair is still kind of wet and it's got the first, the first uh, bunch of Suave Aceto, take your comb again and now comb it back. And at this point, you want it to look exactly how you want it to look. So just comb it back like this Oh yeah, that's the shit. And if you've got if you've got uh, a comb that has two parts to it, you've got a comb that's got like a like a coarse edge on it, like that. You guys see that? And then a fine edge. You now want to use the fine edge as well, just to really get that hair back in the exact position that you want it. So comb it, comb it. All right. So that's on point. Now what you're going to do is you're going to let your hair dry. So mine's still wet, 
is probably going to take 10, 15 minutes to dry. So I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to go do some other shit. Then I'm going to come back, finish it off and show you guys how to make it fresh as f All right, guys, I'm back. So it's been about 15, 20 minutes. My hair is now completely dry. And the first lot of Suave Aceto that's in there is completely dry. And you can see that shit already is pretty much on point. Now, depending on what, what, how thick your hair is, what kind of hair you have, that may be enough. That may just get it done, right? That's, it's almost, almost gets it done for me. My hair is quite thick and quite heavy though. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna take a little bit more Suave Aceto, just a tiny bit. You don't wanna overdo it because you don't want your hair to look like concrete. You still wanna look like it's quite natural. So less than half of what we grabbed to start off with. Grab that, mix that through your hands, and then just a couple of final passes. No comb this time, because you want it to look natural. You don't want to look like a professor with all combed hair and shit. Just your hands, and then just work the Suave Aceto through like that, to the point where it's looking exactly how you want it to look, on point. Boom. There you go, guys. That's a hair tutorial. That's where it's at. I hope you enjoy, and I expect everyone's hair to be on point from now on. Now, in the tutorial of what not to do, <laughs> I'll show you how to. Look, Joey waits. Wait 15 minutes and do partially dry. Yeah, no, this fully dry. Like, this is when weird. you watch the tutorial, you'll you get all the tips, mate. Man, this is where they put the couple fingers in to get it a bit sticky, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Sticky fingers. The old sticky Standard fingers. knee bosh. Put it on the other hand. Yeah. Rub it together. Yeah. You look in the mirror. Yeah. Run it through the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Comb? No. You don't use a comb. No. Comb. You like this and it's done. Just like that? Yep. Show us. Oh man. That is too funny. No, you guys can use which tutorial you want, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so we're just rocking up here to the Mr. Olympia Expo for day two, you just Day surfed. two, Saturday morning, Las Vegas. And it's pretty interesting because to get to the Olympia Expo, we park at the Westgate Hotel and walk through the different parts of the Las Vegas Convention Center. And so there's a Mr. Olympia this weekend. There's a gun show, the world's biggest gun show. There's the world's biggest tattoo show. Yeah. <laughs> And then there's just this morning we walked past some computer game conference as well. Yeah, so there's everything here. So we've got uh, every walk of life pretty much. Every walk of life coming out Las Vegas <laughs> today for conventions and, and whatnot. Day two, we've arrived in the Expo Hall. Big Rob's back here. Dude. Yeah. Uh -huh. Me, boss, where's me? He's in the back yeah, somewhere. Mike's leading the way. We're gonna cut, cut through the back to the side so we can try to get back to the back. We got the routes all down packed in the Olympia Expo hall. Alright, we'll see you guys during the day. This shit is crazy. You guys saw it yesterday was busy. It's a madhouse in here. It's epic. Hey Nevos, this week we thought beef protein was weird. They bring out chicken protein. Chicken protein.
definitely not the best condition. The glutes are in the midsection, wasn't it? I was going to say the midsection was in the glutes, but I've seen, I've seen it come in with, with straight and it was literally great cheese on. Let's see how it goes. How you been, man? How are things, eh? Good, man. Good. So you got, you got a blue bill. You just came to check it out. Uh, so we're just here at Run Everything. We're just about to uh, meet Rob and Daniel and Bailey. Yeah. Talk about some of their supplements. Review our reviews. Review yeah. their review and our reviews. And we just got their stuff. We just got the full range of stuff. So we did. So check this out. Are these two bad boys? Capsule forms as well, they won't be available in Australia, but we still got them, so we got them. Rob just hooked us up, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna give them a shot and get some raw reviews to you guys. You know what we think. On the ASAP, ain't that the truth? That's it. And now we're just gonna uh, have a quick chat with Dan and Rob. We're gonna jump up on in here. Yeah, buddy. What's up, Dana? What's up? What's up, Rob? What's up, man? You guys got anything you want to say for uh, your fans in Australia real quick? We love Australia yeah. and we will definitely be back. I yeah. promise you that. We were just promise. Saying, Rob, when are you guys thinking? When are you going to come back? Well, we, for the Arnold. I know we'll be there for the Arnold. Oh, sure. <laughs> and maybe we'll stay a little bit longer. And maybe we'll stay and tour around a little yeah, yeah. I would love to. Come. Get out of the expert hole for a little bit. Yes. And actually see some of us yes. Right here, right? I want to hang out with some kangaroos. Yeah, yeah. I heard Perth has a place where I'm not sure Perth would, but I'm sure somewhere it would. I thought it was I don't there. Think Perth is the place. Perth is the place where great white sharks run wild, so. Oh, nice. Nice. Just stay out of here, it'll be sweet. But we're in a cage. Oh. We're in a cage room. If you're in, well, if you're in a cage, you're probably alright. Alright, we'll, we'll yeah. go to Perth and hang out with sharks. Though. There we go, that'd be great. Ever wanted to have C4 on ice? All the time. Who is that? Man. <laughs> I need one of those things in my house. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pour all my stuff in the tree, I think. That's epic. Do not attempt to adjust your screens. It is Big J with Big J's intensity. Look who we got here. What's up? Big J. How you doing, man? What's up, brother? Man, I'm glad to see you. So what's going on, guys? So it's just finished. Uh, it's just gone 5 p.m. and the Olympia has now finished. So that's the, the Olympia Expo is finished. The Olympia, Olympia hasn't Expo. even started yet. So it's uh, yeah, the end of day two. So as you can see, all the companies are just packing their booze up. Yep. Um, they got the forklifts in here. They got the. There's not a whole lot of people in here, is there? Yeah, no. Most of the consumers have left. But yeah, so we're just uh, just going to keep having a bit of a look around, just have a look at a few of the booths and check out. Now's a good time to talk to some of the owners as well because yeah. there's a little bit. Less I mean, there's not so. there's not 50, 57 people lining up. To yeah. chat to everyone. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we'll uh, gonna have a bit of a look around. Then we're gonna go train. Gonna go crush some delts. We had we'll some, crush some delts, beat boot. We had some uh, hyper grow from Isatori as our uh, as our pre workout. So pre workout meal. Actually, I'll show you a bit of part. So thanks to Stephen. This shit. There it is. There. Not available in Australia or New Zealand because it contains beef protein isolate and they can't get the permit for it. But also, show but them, tasty as fuck. So show them what else we got. I'm not sure that the vlog's ready for this, man. Sure. All right, cool. All right. So we picked up some, we picked up some pretty cool shit at the Olympia Expo with some of our partner companies. It's still your mother set. The new pre-workout from CT Fletcher. We're going to be trialing that. Get a raw review up in this bitch. We also got the new Maxon from Isatori, the uh, the strength based strength uh, test booster. Yep. Then when we uh, saw, you guys saw, we saw Rob and Daniel and Bailey and they hooked us up with their new supplement line, the which Run Everything a, line. So we showed, showed you them before. But so we got the EWP, which is the pre-workout. We got the STW, which is the pump formula. And then they also hooked us up and all the raw reviews, we're gonna, we're, as soon as we get back to Australia, we're gonna use this shit and we're gonna raw review the out of it. Just gonna go balls deep in reviews. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go super balls deep, man. You might even dip the, you might not even dip the balls in. Rob and Dana hooked us up with some of their pill form products. Now, if these do come to Australia and New Zealand, they won't be pill form; they'll be powder form. But 
their fat burner and their joint formula. Yeah. So check that shit out. And we got we got a bunch of other stuff in here as well, man. Those are probably the things you guys will get most excited about. So Nevus, we got some people we need to talk to before they get out, man. So let's go do it, and we'll catch you guys probably driving or at the gym. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is one of the major reasons why Rob and Dana Lee and Bailey are so loved by the people. So it's uh, more than 45 minutes now since the expo's closed, and they're still here taking photos. That have been waiting all day to take photos. Oh, That's pretty cool. You gotta respect that, man. I respect that. We the people's company. They're very well respected by the people. All kinds of respect flowing around right now. All right, Nevos, let's bounce. Let's do it. Security's breaking our balls to get on out of Yeah, <laughs> you, she ran you up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just rocked up at the Las Vegas Athletic Club, you know. Going to, uh, going to train some delts and tries, Big Joseph. So we're just here hanging out the back of a car. About to mix up our new pre-workout. I couldn't wait to get straight into it, man. So we're getting on the new DLB and Rob's uh, pre-workout and pump formula. Now, Rob told me specifically to stack them together. So the pre-workout's down the bottom, that's the stimulant and then the, the non-stim pump formula is up the top. So I'm gonna take one scoop of this pre-workout, tangerine clementine, whatever flavor that, what is, what is that? Tangerine is like a fruit. Clementine. It's, it's, uh, it means delicious in Spanish. Okay, nice, I like that. So delicious tangerine. <laughs> Mixed with the pump formula in raspberry. We know what raspberry is. So I'm just gonna, and this is fresh as man. This is like literally like, this is a pre-raw review. So I'm just about to bro punch this bitch in. This would be the pre-workout. Oh, 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 that's not bad. Actually. It's the double punch. Oh shit! I swear, Your Honor, it's just pre-workout. <laughs> so I'm gonna take one scoop of that. Just like the pre-workout that was all over Joe's bedroom bench last night. Oh, <laughs> doc. <laughs> Happens to the best of us, mate. You know what I'm saying? No snow for you, eh, bro? All right. And then the pump formula. Oh, he's <laughs> Mate, trust me, it's worth it, okay? Look at that shit. All over the new TMJ bag. It's all good. We're, te we're testing the f***ing prototype. We're making sure that it can withstand anything, including bro punching out the back of a uh, SUV pre-workout. One scoop of that. It's not the only thing Joe's bro punched in the back oh, of an SUV. Just <laughs> stop, would you? God damn it. Bro punched or tongue punched? Uh, I don't know what you're... Uh, I don't know, I don't know what you're right. in your high school, buddy. So I'm going to throw those two together. We're going to add some water to it. We'll catch you guys inside let you know how it tastes real quick. All right, guys, first taste test of the Enter With Purpose and Show The World stack from Rob and Daniel and Bailey's Run Everything Labs. Now, the first thing I want to point out real quick, because when Rob reviewed my raw review on Onward, he said I didn't even use enough water. So I've read the, the label of the Enter With Purpose and the Show The World, and it clearly says, and I'll show you guys right here, so I'm going to make sure I don't this one up. Take one serving with eight ounce of cold water. See it right there, eight ounces. Now check this out. All right, eight ounces, <laughs> exactly. So I'm not around, we're getting eight ounces. All right, let's give it a taste. It's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. What did you say that? It's tangerine clementine. What did you say clementine was Spanish for, Nevos? I don't know, it's delicious. Delicious? I'd, 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 I'd pay that, I'd pay that. You can definitely taste the agmatine and the citrulline coming through with the show the world. But it's not bad, man. That raspberry and tangerine deliciousness is actually not bad. Let's hit it new. What's up guys? So we're halfway through crushing delts here at Las Vegas Athletic Club. Nevosh. What's the temperature like up there, mate? It's a bit cooler. How do I, how do I feel like it? <laughs> now you know what the draft feels like. So we're about halfway through. We're on to presses now. Behind the head, this is a cool superset actually. We're supersetting behind the head seated military press, superset with in front of the head seated military press. Shit is cool. We got all kinds of pump on. You got pump? We have delts. I really delts are. Popping. 
to see you guys post workout. All right, what up? So we just uh, finished it in delts at Las Vegas Athletic Clubs. We just crushed some delts, baby. Ah. Oh. And uh, okay, so we. <laughs> I think how many? What do we hit? Like five exercises. Five exercises with three supersets. So actually, so, we got eight exercises in total. Yeah. So delts good. are pumped. Can you guys see that? Can you see how pumped the delts are? They're yeah, pumped. It's probably not enough. Zoom and focus yeah, there's that, probably anyway. not enough. Not enough. Light anyway, but we trained on uh, as you guys saw Dana Lynn Bailey and Rob Bailey's new pre workout and pump supplement stack together. It's called what are they call it, it's called uh, they got real interesting names. Show the world was the pump, and uh, show them, show them the whole thing, and then uh, ready, ready to go, ready to train or some shit. You guys seen it in the video anyway. We stacked them bitches together, tasted real good. You saw that too. How'd you train on it? It was good. I um, I had plenty I of energy, good. I had plenty of energy, and also I had my rear delts were. Were, my rear delts were, they still are pumped. So that was the second. It's actually, they're actually pressing you forward on the seat. They are. It was the second exercise, I and uh, we did that superset of the of the face pulls and then the bent over rear delt flyers. Yeah. And um, after that, my delts were killing, and they're still pumped. killing. So pumped. no, it was awesome. Had a lot I, of energy. I, I a lot of energy. It. The energy, the energy and mental focus. Like usually in, in work, especially these workouts, we've been chatting to each other and shit, yeah. mid set or using our phones or doing some sort of shit. Yeah. I was I was zoned in. Like yeah. I just wanted. To lift yeah and we did so we trained for what an hour and 15 yeah and did eight exercises yeah and the pumps were good too so was good. i'm impressed as a, i'll do a proper raw review on it when we get back to australia but as a as a pre-raw review i'm impressed you know what it Very reminded impressed. me of the stack that i've been using lately what's that angel dust v2 and, yeah. and core pump yeah very similar to that stack, exact same feeling pretty much. Yeah. Exact same well, pump and very same same focus. Yeah. Well I've been training on Core Fury Extreme. It, it wasn't quite as good as Core Fury Extreme, but the the energy was was real good man, real potent. So yeah. I was a big fan. Anyway, Nivos, we were just talking. Tell the viewers at home about our meals today. Man. Well yesterday the meals were on point yesterday, weren't they? Yeah, the meals the yesterday we had one of the best uh, days in terms of getting meals in. Yeah. We hit all of our meals, most of them solid meals as well. It was on point. Today, well, as we said, well, that, yeah. we said yesterday, um, Mark Lobliner, Marcus, <laughs> chats on our chest that many He's times. Sabotaging our game. He hasn't rocked up to a training session. Yeah. Didn't send our subs and didn't plan our meals. And on our meals as well. So Mark said, "Leave the leave the meals to me, boys. I'll put it on the credit card." And I got the email to prove it you did you did we should probably we should probably send that to deal get him to flash yeah, it up on get screen him to, get him to put it on but anyway he said don't worry i'll take care of it and then fix me up for it yeah how many meals are here are they are they mark mark so, mark, so, mark so because it was early this morning we had uh we had a sludge, sludge. mts sludge with a rice cake with a rice cake but yeah. mts sludge and i had um cashews yeah and then um to get my good fats in yeah. then i had a core mrp yeah then and I had an isolate. Yep. Yep. Then I think we both had like a little like remember that little quest sippy thing we had that quest yeah, protein powder we tried. Doesn't taste. count. So I mean we had a little. And then like, our pre workout meal was isotory hypergrow. Hypergrow, and I've just had a high isotory hypergrow as a post workout. So I've had four meals today. I've had three shakes and less than a thousand calories. Yeah. Well, my four meals have been four shakes. I didn't tell you either. I weighed myself this morning. I took all my measurements as yeah. I do pre-contest. Yeah, do, you... do you want to know how much weight I've lost? Two and a half kilo, I reckon? No, nah, almost two. Almost two kilos down and we've been in the US for nine days. The that just shows you how, how deep in caloric deficit we are, which is really not a good thing. It's not. But I mean, we haven't stopped either. No. Well, we've like, been crushing it. We've normally, been crushing business. I mean, so you know, sometimes you just have to prioritize this I shit. I mean, normally you know that you and I... Well, as everyone would see, that you've seen the day in the life, and you've seen all that kind of shit. I mean, we sit yeah. at our desk all day long, yeah, getting meals in. So I mean, we smash. We're bros, man. We don't miss meals. <laughs> we smash. We se don't. We smash seven meals every two hours, yeah, without fail, yeah. hitting whatever. And yeah, it's just, it's been hectic. I can't like yeah. for the ten weeks before this that I've been doing my like bodybuilding regime and bodybuilding yeah. diet. Yeah, I haven't had a shake as a meal. Yeah. Like I've had six solid meals and one post workout. The only shakes shake. I've been having a post workout. So yeah, I mean I so every 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 week I'm having like on on without fail, I'm eating forty two solid meals a week. Like so six meals a day, seven days a week, so eating forty two meals. So I, I reckon think, I've eaten ten solid meals this trip. So Nevos, I think you can drop it on the viewers at home because this is something that that they've never seen 
in a TMJ in the USA before. What what's it, where we're on, where we're going now, and what's about to go down tonight? Yeah, and uh, something that so, I don't do very often, especially pre-contest. But because I've lost almost two kilos and we're severely in caloric deficit, we've called it. We've called it. So what we're doing, King of the Bros, Massive Joe, yep. and Neve, yep. Sir Neve a lot, yep. Neve of the Neve, yep. I don't know what the <laughs> going on about. But what we're doing anyway, so we're going out for dinner to a restaurant called Cut. Is it called Cut? It's called Cut. It's one of Wolfgang Puck's restaurants. It's a steakhouse. So we're going out with uh, rich homie Sean, his is pushy that, cat, like, Jess. Is that, is that the people from um, Twilight, Wolfgang? No, you know, the wolves? no, no Wolfgang you know, Puck you know, is Jake, chef. No, Jacob, the wolf. Shut the f*** Jacob. up. Jacob. Seriously. The werewolf in Twilight. Hook <laughs> gay. What, you never seen Twilight? <laughs> no, I haven't. Turn I Vampire movies. Yeah, I've seen them all. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to we're going to Cut, also known as Cutting Specialist Restaurant, Wolfgang Puck Steakhouse. We're going to Rich Homie Sean, his pushy cat, Jess, Doug Miller, and Andrew Pardu from Core Nutrition. It was the six of us. We are smashing a cheat meal tonight, baby. No, that that is entree. Yeah. That is on And then where are we going after that? In and out burger. And then where are we going after that? Ben Jerry's. <laughs> oh shit! Cheat meal going down. And I hate to tell you this, Joseph. <laughs> what? But Saturday night yeah. is my BJ and BJ night. I, I, my, I don't even want to ask. Me. I get my Ben and Jerry's and the pushy cat comes through with the second. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so do you have a whole pass for tonight? No, man, look, you're, you've got to take the reins, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Mate, I'll, I'll make some phone calls and I'll do a Greg Williams man, that one <laughs> well, no. for yeah. sure. Alicia, if you're watching, Nevos has a hall pass for tonight. <laughs> oh, don't tell her. <laughs> so that's what's happening. You guys are going to see the first ever cheat meal on TMJ in the USA. Yeah. So there you go. We'll see you at Cut. Man, the exclusives on this episode of vlog, TMJ in the USA, just keep on coming. It's going to be the most exclusive packed episode we've seen thus far. Not only is this an exclusive for TMJ in the USA, this is an exclusive for life in general. <laughs> Me, Bosh! Wait, I have never ironed before in my life. Do you even know what you're doing, bro? I think I, I meant to run it over. Hold on, is it on? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it's I on, know, I okay. I think I meant to, it's got like a blow off valve. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's for. I think it's to, oh, I, think shit. It's to I think it's to iron faster. This is epic. Only it's few, to get creases out. There's only mate. a few burn marks so far. So. <laughs> um, just a quick one. It's got a print on it. Iron it inside out, bro. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, Joe. Uh, this, this is going to take some time. I'm going to need to educate Neve on how to iron. We'll catch you guys at dinner. <laughs> this is what happens when you let Neve boss self park the car on the wrong side of the road. Fucked up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking, but that car is seriously <laughs> Look at that shit. So Nebos, are we actually inside or outside right now? That's what I was looking at, man. I had to double tape. It's all on the roof. <laughs> We're inside the Venetian. These are the Grand Canal shops. So there's actually a canal. You guys have seen this in past episodes of TMJ in the USA, but for our new subscribers, this is pretty epic. So this is actually inside right now. How crazy is this shit? Anyway, we're trying to find the restaurant uh, cut by Wolfgang Puck. Can we just point something out? What? You and I both both bought our Nikes. Our, we got your J's. I got my Air Force Ones. Trying to get up. I got my Air Force Ones. Yeah. With, with a drop crunch. Yeah. To fit the big boy. Yeah. And uh, very big boy. neither of us bought anything other than Massive Joe's t-shirts. Yeah, uh, and zero to be given. We rep in Massive Joe's throughout this whole season at Team Joe in the USA. So, uh, yeah, so we f***ed up here, but... But they get up some point. Some point, but uh, yeah, got, got no, no good actual going out t-shirts. No. Anyway, we got to find this restaurant. We run it late, and I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> I almost forgot to say, with this canal, you can actually take gondolas. I'm not even right now. Shit is epic. Love Vegas. 
shit is too damn empty. Damn. Luckily, we found the restaurant. What up, what up, what up, what up? Entrees are served. Doug Miller, Andrew Pardu, Rich Homie Sean, Jess, Nevos. Let the cheap meal begin. What is that right there? Tuna tartare. Tuna tartare. That's corn salad. Corn salad. The corn salad with the grilled fish on the side. Oh, all sorts of fancy shit going on. Vlogception. Oh, I'm screwing up on my mic. <laughs> it's all good. Nevos looking a little nervous because it's not... Um, no, you remember nervous, right? I want to yeah. make it a little like bit of a little 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 <laughs> we all got steak. We had a steak oh house, God. of course. Man. So I guess it's an epic as right now. Yeah. So dessert's being served right now. Yeah. Shit is on point. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> There's like a chocolate souffle thing going on down here. Oh, shit. Uh, it's gonna be good. It's like, it's like this. Oh! <laughs> and then. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, eat this. Oh, yeah. Alright, what up? So, we just uh, we just finished our meal at. What was it called? Uh, Wolfgang Cut. Uh, Wolfgang. Wolfgang. Fucking. Wolfgang. Taylor Lautner. It was Taylor Lautner. Wolfgang Puck's Steakhouse Cut. But yeah. that was a long ass dinner, man. I know. It's, we got uh, there at nine. It's and one. It's, it's, it's one. one a, it's one a.m. now. <laughs> We're there for four hours. It was a. It was a big meal. Yeah. So it's a, I wanted to thank Sean from HBM for taking us. Yeah. And his uh, lovely big, partner Jess. Yeah. Big props to Rich Homie Sean, man. He fixed up the bill as well, and that would not have been a small bill at that restaurant. So oh, that was, thank you, Sean. That was the most delicious, that, deli most delicious steak I've ever had in my life. It, it was pretty damn good. And the entrees. I don't even know what. They were, but it was amazing. Like, it was more of an experience. The steakhouse is in Las Vegas. It's more than like just like a grill, like what we're used to in Australia, like an outback steakhouse. It ain't like that. It's like it's like up upper class. That it's like what do they call that? I don't you just find, usually do this shit, right? Find, like, yeah, you, silver find, service or some shit. I don't know, man. You do it. I don't know, but it's a full. No. It was a full experience. There was probably like thirty people in the restaurant and forty-five waiters. Yeah. It was yeah. crazy. I, I, was, I, did, I, did, I had no idea what was going on. I was incredibly impressed. I've never been anywhere that fancy before, to be honest. And yeah. as I said, you and I rocked up in <laughs> t-shirt, jeans, and... And, <laughs> and was there in suits. Nikes. <laughs> shirts and shit. But they still... TMJ rolls up, zero <laughs> given. They still called me sir, so not <laughs> given. Yeah. No, it was cool. And when I, when I... As as most of you know, I'm not the... Uh, delicatessen? Is it called delicate? Deli I don't know what I'm Delicate called. person? Whatever it's called. Some shit, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't go out for fine dining. But anyway, so the issue is, it took us four hours to eat, and uh, we're hungry again, and it's uh, it's 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 cheap meal, so uh, we're going to In-N-Out Burger. Well, it's Saturday night, mate. I've never had In-N-Out Burger. I'm actually almost as excited for In-N-Out as I was for that meal we just had. I know. Yes. So we're, uh, yeah, just going to In-N-Out Burger, and then we're going to go find Ben and Jerry's. That's it, we'll see you guys there. Alright, we're here at In-N-Out Burger. Let's see if this lives up to the hype. I've heard good things about these burgers, man. So we've got the double double. Yeah. And we've got the fries. It looks good, man. $12.97. Yeah, cheap as <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Alright, we're back. So, I'm not, I'm not gonna pull bunches on this one. Tell us. That was one of the worst burgers I've ever had in my whole life. Shocking. I didn't even finish it. I finished mine and I ate all the chips. I didn't. I, I, and I, I'm not, I don't think it's got anything to do with the fact that people have talked it up so much. That was horrible. It was. Terrible. That almost makes me want to. That was. That, that makes me want to go to IHOP and 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 eat IHOP. That burger. You know what? That burger reminds me why I'm a bro. Yeah. For real. Because that was horrible. Like seriously. <laughs> I don't know if it's because... I would rather have gone to McDonald's and got a water pounder. Well, are they the same thing over here? Is In-N-Out Burger meant to be equivalent to McDonald's and your Burger King? Or yeah. is it meant to be a superior burger? 
I don't know. I've just heard. I I had heard so many good things about In and Out, and everyone is telling me when you go to the U.S. if you have the opportunity to have In and Out as like a cheat meal if you're not dieting or whatever, you have to try it. And I just tried it. And to all those people that recommended it, I don't know if it's. Oof. <laughs> passionately dislike the. That, I'm that fucking. Burger. I'm straight out of Compton right now, mate. Shit. I will very rarely not finish a meal during a cheat meal. Yeah. And I just put that shit down. I was like, I'm not putting that inside my body. Put it inside my body. I put a lot of things inside my body. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> but um. Oh shit! All right, so we need to make up for it. Ben and Jerry's. We're going to Ben and Jerry's. Let's do it. And uh, what was I gonna say? I don't know. You want oh, to I don't know. and get some pancakes or some shit? I don't know if it's because... Oh, this is what I was going to say. I don't know if it's because we're spoiled for burgers in Adelaide, though. Yeah, we... we Back yeah. home in Adelaide, we have a lot of burger joints. We like, do. grilled, which is uh, my it's personal favourite. Um, like, Burger Foundry... What's that one doing? Burger Boss. Nord burger, burger Boss. Burger Boss. Nord Burgers. Yeah. We, are, we are sport for burger choices, so perhaps and, we're And they're everywhere, choices. especially around our Nord store, like there's like seven different burger joints you can yeah. go to. They're all delicious. Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. It Let's was... try and make up for it right real quick. Yeah. Damn. I'm going to get two tubs of Ben and Jerry's now. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's 30 seconds after we just shot that video and Joe has just hit a f***ing cop car. <laughs> you falling into the 7-Eleven to get our Ben and Jerry's. Joe has hit a Cop car. I didn't hit it. All right, <laughs> I it. tapped it on the side. I didn't even see the guy. He's in my blind spot. He's a cop. You should know better. Yes, you know, he just blamed it on you being colorblind. <laughs> well, I did. I thought it was the edge of the lane. Oh, That's fuck. why I didn't see him there, and I didn't think to double check. I just want my Ben and Jerry's, and we've got a fucking <laughs> get. It. Oh, dear. I'm not gonna lie. It's not the best of situations. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's. I put it on Facebook, I put it on Snapchat, I'll send it to all the guys back home. I'll let everyone know. Uh, it's, you're, you're posted, I put it in your truck before 10 years ago. Yeah. We'll show you guys the damage. It's not that big a deal, but it is a pain in the ass. Because it's undrivable. So we contacted the rental car company. We got them sending a tow truck to pick this thing up. And take us back to the, uh, the car facility and put us in a new car. So we got something to drive, but it's a massive pain in the ass. I'm not gonna lie. And the cop car, the, the cop cars, the cop. There's not really that much damage to the cop car at all. Can you go interview the cops? I'm not interviewing the cops, no, mate. The guys they've been to... they've been super nice to us. I'm not interviewing them. It's just gonna <laughs> piss them off. And I did go over to the cop car to have a look at the damage. And there's two double barrel rifles sitting right <laughs> in between the two seats. So I don't want to piss them off, mate. It's 2:20 a.m. I just want my. Ben and Jerry's. Well, 7 Eleven's just up the road. We can get you Ben and Jerry's real quick. There's four, right. there's four cup cars there. Right. We filled out the incident report. We've done the police report. We shouldn't be too much longer. We're we'll back on the road. Yeah. At least the cops have been real cool about this, right? I think they were just happy that we weren't drunk. Hmm. That was like the first thing they asked, right, Nick? Have you, have you, got, have you always been drinking tonight? But like, no, brother, we don't drink. Sure. This is why you shouldn't drink, see? Prime example right here. They've been all cool. Mind you, they've shut off half the road, but I think they're looking for something to do that's non-violent at 2 a.m. in Vegas on a Saturday night. It's a win-win situation, really, when you think about it like that. It's taken four cop cars to come in. Four cop cars and two two motorcycles. Yeah. And they got some serious <laughs> Harley Davidson, Davidson motorcycles. I was talking to them about it just before yeah. while we were filling out the police report. Because, you know, that's the typical way you spend Saturday night in Vegas. Mate, you've been watching that much straight out of Compton that as soon as they pulled you over you ran over the sidewalk three hands behind the head and <laughs> <laughs> face to the face I ain't doing nothing wrong face right? down <laughs> oh shit alright so police report has all been done the cops have bailed luckily I dropped Lenny's name my right. good friend and they didn't Lenny give, they didn't give us a ticket mate and we didn't get a ticket thanks Leonard they were all cool with this shit they kind of just filed the police report said let the insurance take care of it the car rental company well, the cop said it's not his car so he didn't really care he didn't give <laughs> <a> <laughs> so the tow truck's here 
They're gonna tow that bitch because we actually, it, it's not that much damage, but the bumper's actually is like sitting on the concrete. Probably, like, I, I mean, on the bitch, man. Like, I've popped like, my front bumper off on the blue, like on the like the little like things at the front of car parks before. You've hit and, a cop car before? No, on the bumpers, like, because there's cars too low, <laughs> so you just like click it back in with the clicks, but yeah. you yeah. ripped it right off. It's, it's ripped. You've ripped it from the bolt. So that's why the tow truck's here. So they're gonna pick this bitch up, chuck it on there, and get us a new car, I guess. Taxi, That's what I'm thinking. There's no point for a new car. We need it. We need to catch a taxi to the airport. airport. So Maybe they have to drop the car back. That's what we're doing. Genius at 3 a.m. <laughs> you haven't even had Ben and Jerry's yet. Imagine my friends are The Ben and Jerry's is on me, brother. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one way to return a rental car. If you can see that right there, that's our car on the back of a tow truck. It's much more dramatic than it seems. It's, it's really it, not that big a deal. It really wasn't need for a tow truck, but there we go. There's a tow truck. So it's 10 past three in the AM. And we got <laughs> options now. So we, we're without a car because the thing is, we're dropping our car back to, well, we are meant to drop the <laughs> car you just crashed <laughs> back to the rental place uh, yeah. at like 10.30 tomorrow morning because we're going to the airport and flying out at 12.30. Yeah. So we thought, we're not going to like go back get another car and then have to go through the rigmarole of because returning a rental car in las vegas is not actually at the airport it's you have like to, you 5k have to. from the airport you got to hop on a shuttle bus to the rental car terminal then another shuttle bus to the airport so it's like almost a two hour return of a rental car so this is yeah. much quicker it's not quicker. not that i recommend it <laughs> but it's a much quicker and more efficient way so, to return a rental but car. to be honest out of like side swiping a cop car and getting our car towed to like going through the rigmarole i like using rigmarole tonight yeah to going like through going through the rigmarole of uh yeah us having to like drive there take it back then check the car for any scratches this was actually the more efficient way it's very say, efficient look we f***ed it <laughs> yeah. it's the police report you can and you can have the car back about 12 hours earlier as well yeah like, well they, they should really give us a refund because we haven't had it for long enough we haven't had it for the prescribed amount of time oh shit so it's quarter past 3 a.m as i said and we'll draw hey, so now we're there. oh there's they're, they're back to get you joe <laughs> keep me away the f cops just, oh out. the cops have just pulled into the car park next to us oh, God. well there is a silver lining though so, if yeah. that wasn't enough as a silver lining because we're walking we now without a car yeah well we thought like it probably is not the safest thing to be walking out down this street on our own at, we all good. We all good. And uh, just so happens that, uh, well, we we, <laughs> we we walked to 7-Eleven. Which means I can get my Ben and Jerry's. But even better, Nevos, just down the road here is, is IHOP. Which means we're going to go eat. Let's do it. 3.30 a.m. <laughs> At Kieran IHOP. It's 3.45 a.m. 3.45 a.m. Continuing with the post-crash cheap room. Pancakes galore, baby. And the maple syrup. Where's my maple syrup? She told me the <laughs> maple syrup. <laughs> this, this chick is the <laughs> worst flavor I've ever had in my life. She bought, she bought me a Pepsi, and I asked for a diet Pepsi. Oh my, <laughs> my eyes. And then she put cream on pancakes, and I said no cream. <laughs> I'm tired. Nevos, how's your um, <laughs> Pepsi Max gone there, mate? Which one red and sweaty I am? Um, That's one of Pepsi Max. Please bring me Pepsi's.